Let's jump into it. Opening in in the green on Lippany uh, on the east side of the map, we got Erican as the Roos facing off. On the other side, we got Tractor as the Chinese in the blue. We got a and game. Got... It's a China game. It's a China game. Of course it is. Uh, shout out to Tim. <laughs> and we got the only vi the only viable and great opening of the Chinese Empire. We've got no IO. Let's go. Yeah, I think it is, has now been accepted as uh, just the thing to do. It's kind of weird. No IO. Very. I think, Very I think you only open with IO now if you uh, like expect Dark Age regression because it gives you like uh, the option to supervise out spears. Interesting. So, what is what are the thoughts behind foregoing that initial IO? Uh, why is that well, sort of fallen out of out of play for China? You lose a villager. That's pretty much it. You lose a villager, okay. and with the academy buff that gives you the cheaper IO cost, it's just way more worth it to keep that extra vil. Oh, I reckon losing his scout here. Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't feel good, that hand cannon. Able to take out the scout. Not donating any sheep. You know, a situation yeah, that could have been worse. Uh, still not great, though, being down a scout. Uh, he is Roos, however. Uh, yeah, so he opened with two. Sacrificing that scout. Little sacrificial scout there. Um, yeah, never feels good, but no sheep donated. I feel like he was already tilted from, you know, not having any sheep on a two scout open. Mm -hmm. And then just, yeah, blowing that other scout. It's pretty rough. Pretty rough, um, for sure. I'd be slightly annoyed, not gonna lie. So how are you feeling? Roos against China. New new Roos, what do you expect to see here? I, I'd, I'd love to see that Golden Gate, some fast castle if China plays defensive. Maybe bring out some of those professional scouts start taking uh start taking deer packs if possible i mean we'll see that uh deer pack to the south of the chinese base potentially you could sneak that out depending on where china expands to um the golden gate there it is love to see it again uh when i played roost in season two uh golden gate was my crutch for sure because that was Back in 2022, when my macro was absolutely garbage, so having this don't worry, it to is be a better market now. It was really I still nice. use it. Yep. Uh, great landmark. Always thought the Kremlin was really annoying to play against because I like feudal aggression. So it is nice to see Golden Gate back on the menu and Tractor just continuing to Hoover up those sheep, taking two, three more. Uh, from the roof side of the map there. He's on 14 sheep now. He's a he's a happy China player. Mm -hmm. But let's quickly look at tracker space tractor spawn here. It is uh pretty nice as far as China spawns go because look at that food source above his base. Yeah, that is Does that, does that scream barbecue to you? of that, yeah. He you can even build the barbecue forward on the gold. Like mm -hmm. this is all wallable. Thanks, Lippany. Ah, Lippany gives and Lippany taketh. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what it taketh. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon. How you, from, are you looking? Uh, okay, no, he, he, has, taken. he has double deer packs in the back with a big wood line in the corner. I don't think he's unhappy. You got the deer on the hill, double deer pack on that gold. Immediate stable opening. So, Tracker is still without a barbecue. He does not have song. One more attacks drop off and he'd be there. Any attacks drop offs? Hello? Come on, we need we need twenty five gold. And there it is. And villagers moving out. Tractor yeah, the sees that spot late. you're talking about. And Barbican going up on the berries, the deer. Gonna protect that gold as well. Gonna get scouted out. By a rack in here. But yeah, that is just a great spot for that Barbican. Scout is here. It's like, yep, 
Yeah. That exists. Great. <laughs> Yay. Um, that's going to be a fun game. <clears throat> Is, is, is the scout's the taking out form? his anger and just throwing those torches <laughs> like, I can't believe you get to build this here. Hey, he he just uh, lost his brother. He's upset. Take a quick look at the corner for me. Is that entirely walled off? Uh, the that, top that, right that, corner? These two trees? Top to the left side. Left side. Oh, the, I mean, that is also completely walled off. But yeah, it's basically mirrored because on the left side, same thing. Yep. Those double trees, look at that. And just like the hotel, getting a free little wall over there. It looks like you could still get up over the hill, but that's... I mean, this area is so, so easily wallable. I think we're going to be settling in for a longer one here. Well, the 2TC oh. song is on the way for Tractor. Do you think he's going to stay on 2TC with that spawn? <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. The it's, multiple. If you if you go if yeah, you go three DC, you just die. Yeah. We do have a couple of knights now on the field for the Rus, coming around, circling in the south side of the Chinese base here, looking for targets. China's moved <laughs> off of that gold for the moment. Not going to be a lot of vulnerabilities in this Chinese base for a while. Sees the abandoned gold, immediately goes to the corner to scout the rest of the map because he just can't find any purchase. And he's checking the other gold too, because yeah. you know the barbecue is there, but yeah, nothing. Your opponent is busy building town centers. Mm -hmm. Just settling in for the longer game here. So what's Arakin's move now? We continue making a few knights. He finally got that wooden fortress up on his uh, lumber camp, so 20% extra income there. Nice going for him. Is it just going to be knights and nothing but knights? But then he would need an extra stable. I'm still quite unsure what his plan is. He did uh, take we do the see an archer range back in the coming back. down. So knights, archers. Uh, but yeah, China is just in such a... Such a good defensive position here. It's going to be tough. Oh, we're we'll just going to dive the wood line. First okay, let's charge. go. Bonk. There's one Ville. Uh, but with the two TCs now in song, he's going to need a lot more than that. And the second scout succumbs to that landmark town center. It's just a bad day for the Roof scouts here on Lipany. So here's the thing, if Arakin goes full aggression now, I don't think he's going to attack the barbecue itself. So what can he actually do? Can he deny this woodline under the TC? If he towers it, maybe? Like, but there's still the woodline in the corner. I, I, I really don't think that going all in on this China base is a good idea. No, I think he needs to find something else. Not able to pick up a second vill there, able to get into the TC in time and... And just the arrows and the cannons shots from the TC taking out a knight. Really rough. Really rough for Roos here, losing a knight on that. Also losing that scout earlier. Those knights are looking. They're looking for something. But there really isn't, there really isn't I mean, any opportunity. He can go around now. He can go at the, on the edge of the map that is outside TC range, and then he can go into the back. And Tracker currently has two two spearmen, so he definitely has that opportunity, but all Tracker really has to do is build a short wall that funnels through his town center, and then... What's his opponent got? Oh, he doesn't know that the corner is already walled. He's walling up the top side. Yeah. Did he not, not scout scouting this? out that, it, that it's already walled. You know, it's... I mean, you wouldn't just expect a couple it. Of, it's a couple of palisades. You can't blame them for uh, just, just making sure. You know, I've seen wood lines that I thought were fully complete to the edge of the map and fully complete with trees. And I've been surprised by secret gaps before. I do have a We've ram under yeah, construction. First ram. Where, where's he going to ram, though? Arakan, what's the plan? We're building the ram all the way in the back. Don't want to give anything away. Barbecue does not see that far, no. He just he just sees the knights in the stealth forest. That's all. Mm -hmm. And where's the scout? Scout is just hanging out in the base. <laughs> Why would I need to look at the map? I got everything I want right here. 
just gonna chill and boom and Roos can do whatever they want, but I think I'll be fine. I'm inclined to agree so far. Okay, we see a stable, so it's gonna be horseman? Horseman spear? Okay. And here comes the ram. Sees the ram. It is not clown card. Oh, we're going straight for the barbecue? But why? There's a whole nice base we could be attacking down here. I mean, all the food is here. That's yeah. If he can break this, it's great. But I don't think he can. It's going to be tricky. Do have a couple of horsemen and spears to defend. Knights running past. Maybe looking to get on some villagers. Uh, they're going to engage into the spears. China, I Their don't think has dropping rapidly. units here. Um, Come on, good track a quick wall. Okay. Arakan will be able to clean this up here. Tracker, are you supervising your production buildings? He, in fact, is stable as being supervised, but the barracks for the spears are not. So he's got to leave here. Does he have any more food left? He has the forward berries. They're super dangerous. He does have one sheep carcass left. Oh, that is so, not wow. a lot of food. Losing an IO as well to a knight underneath the Barbican. Rams doing their job here. They're going to take it down. I mean, I hate to say it for Tracker, but he somehow managed to uh, not hold this position. Vils okay. pulled out to repair the Barbican. Barbican on 200 health. Uh, the horsemen need to pay attention here, because if, if you just A move here, they're going to attack the ram. Able to pick off one of those rams. That Barbican's going to stay up for the time being, and not enough DPS from those rams. Okay, we, we're now on the forward berries. Arakan is currently busy, cannot contest this. The barbecue is still up. And we're Morville's just... Morville's coming over. A barbican's gonna stay up. Got down underneath. 200 go. HP. Tractor's gonna hold here. Uh... Clutch Arakan, repair he's, from he's China. Still on, he's, he's, he's on 13 archers. He can still make this work. But yeah, barbecue stays up. China is uh, quite a few builds down. Five at the time. And he has so much idle time. Arakan going for round two. 18 to 1 military. Yeah, Tracker really needs that food income now. He just ate through this entire berry patch in like one second. <laughs> Those berries just about gone. As Arkin starts the remass, two rams back up on the field. Whole bunch of archers, couple of knights in there for support. Barbican nearly back to full health at this point. That's just a yeah. lot of wood going into the repair there. We only have five knights this time, 19 archers. And here Becker comes... is still 20 vils ahead, but now he, he needs that food. He could still go to the deer pack all the way in the south. And Arakan is here for round two, and he has so many archers. Finally getting that steeled arrow. Good lord. Yeah, you can see the Chinese army just absolutely melt here. You see the outposts go down, but it's just not enough. Rams able to get back on the Barbican, the Rus army. Much greater number than the Chinese. The Chinese military completely wiped out. Those vills idle around the berries. They're going to have to go find something way more exposed at this point. Barbican under half health. The villagers run away. This time the Barbican will go down. Yep, completely abandoning the position. And then you have a Rus army of uh, four times your size, five times your size, with eight knights still up and healthy uh, with triple rams. It's not. It's not a good feeling. It's nope. not a good feeling. Doesn't doesn't feel good at all. Looking at those military counts, and especially with the fact that China it just has to scramble for food at this point to try to remass some sort of military uh, under the pressure of the ongoing Rus onslaught. More rams being added. There's going to be five rams on the map at this point, and I think they're going to start down targeting the now. that main base very soon. Knight has scouted out that little, uh, that berry patch to the south of the Chinese base. Vils are going to go down. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of trouble for China here. Or can I don't think down there. going oh, out far so enough to time. see the Vils on the deer. 
But, yeah. So much food idol. Get out to shapes, boys. Taking down a night. <laughs> Do what you can. There is a good amount of spears here. Uh, but while those spears have moved over to fight those two knights, we've got the five rams and the rest of the Rus army targeting down the Chinese base. Village goes down. Moving in into the production here onto the stable very soon. Let's start that push. Continue into the Chinese base. Yeah, and on top of the production, all double villages in the back there. I don't think he's holding that. Yeah. But I've been I've been wrong before. I thought Arakan would just get uh, dumped on at the top <laughs> position. But only one barracks was not enough to uh, hold the knights back, and they just rolled over everything. Yeah. Thought it was a good hold for a second by Tractor, that initial hold to keep that Barbican up, but Arakan just has, as the eco to just remass an army for round two, able to take the Barbican out, and now overwhelming Rus military into the Chinese base, landmark TC under fire. We've got the spears out, just trying to do something to defend, but there are so many Rus archers in the mix as well. Uh, but slowly... Arakin losing his army that's more here. Equal. Yeah. Starting oh, that to village equalize. goes down now. We're going to go down to 40 pop. 85 or 40. So no more reinforcements here. Oh, and Trekker is sitting on 1,400 food and nothing else, really. Yeah, he scrambled for that food he needed. Uh, needs more pop space at the moment. Rams continue their push into the TC. Spears. I'm just looking at Arakan's uh, macro there, and every single time uh, any of the resources go up like, by like 150 or so, he just uses <laughs> a ticket. Yep. <laughs> Golden Gate, a fantastic landmark. Uh. Speaking of landmarks, the uh, Chinese landmark TC is down. No wood to repair. So much food in the bank. And yeah. Roos just continuing to send a mass of forces into China. Onslaught is just being kept up. And Trekker sitting on so many resources, he just can't use them. Yeah, that massive push to food wasn't able to... Completely re-macro, we do see a giant drop, drop off of wood. Arakan's army is being pushed back now. So, Trekker is technically still alive, and he still has uh, the villager lead here. So, I mean, China still still works in this stage with half a base and uh, one landmark left. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized there's only one landmark left, and there was literally a lot of ramps down here, like... That was You're absolutely uh, scary. correct. Yeah, the brink that of was death. Real but scary. Tractor holding on for the time being. Yeah, but he's, he's also overextending here. Yeah, gonna lose those. Arkin going units. more heavily in the nights. Sorry. I mean, this all just works because Arakan he had two nights here initially on the food sources, and then he just ignored the fact that this exists. Main TC is on half health now. American is just slowly, slowly getting his villagers, uh, clo his villager number closer to his opponents. That's and just crazy. continuing his field lol in. I love it. Mm hmm. Keeping his foot on the gas. We do see a horseman and a knight, couple of knights actually, coming over for the. for the berry patch way far away from the Chinese base. I mean. Tractor's okay with giving it up for the moment. He's got so much food in the bank. Spears coming over to defend. Vil's going back to the berries. A little counter raid by Tractor. He's the here. first dead Ruse villager of today. Let's see, how much food does Arakin have left? He is on all the berry patches here. There's double boar 
down there that he really wants to and he definitely wants to deny that from China. Yeah, Arakin was just a little bit too confident there, just standing in the middle of the base, not controlling the resources. Just, <laughs> just waiting for sure the he GG. Has... <laughs> Come on, just leave my game. Yeah. I've it's... clearly won. Uh, but yeah, no, Tractor holding on. Um, as Arakin starting another ram push, we do see one ram coming down. We do see those vills crossing the map, going to be scouted out. Yeah, they're going straight for the boar and... There is a Chinese army on the way from the other side. A moved straight there. Uh, Ar Arakan, are you are you throwing right now? Where's the Rus army? Oh, it's building rams on top of where the barbecue was. Wait, Tra Tracker is killing the boar. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is this is not old Rus. We we don't care about Bunty here. Mm-hmm. Let's uh. It was a little big different target. now. And here's the rest of the Chinese army coming yeah, in on those boar we're gatherers. In That's going to be quite a few dead vills. You see them on the oh, retreat. Spears here to pick off the knights coming in. Horsemen as well for the archers. Archer ball is coming from the other side, but is uh, four four villagers dead? Five villagers in a second. They're gonna get two more. Good block by the archers there, keeping the vills alive just a little bit longer. Oh, knights are really hurt though, and there's a lot of spears. He cannot take the direct fight. Archers though, should be able to clean most of this. Let's see. Yeah, we'll see. Those, those horsemen engaging in on the low HP knights, now moving over to just jump in on that archer ball. Start picking them off. We got the spears on the rams, getting rid of that investment. Uh, but First Tractor game we just... cast, and it's such a clusterfuck. Love it. <laughs> we finally got into a game. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm glad it was this game that we saw. It's, it's been a wild one. Uh, the real issue for Arakin is, uh, if you look into the Chinese base real quick. What, what do oh, you see? Oh, look at that farm transition. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's, it's just, just China things. Yeah. Uh, while nobody was looking, he just made a casual. How many is that? Twenty-five farms. I, I'm seeing thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Arakan is slowly starting his. He also has eight under a non-granary. Uh, we do see another push coming in. Knights not going to commit to it with the spears there. Vils in the outpost. Going to keep the Rus at bay. And those farms are safe. But now, Tractor, who is in a really, really bad position early on, losing the landmark TC, losing the Barbican... Yeah, remember Feeling when he was on one and one landmark yeah. and half a base? China yeah, does got, what China does. We've got 25, 22 to 24 army supply, and there is still nine knights here. So if Arakan breaks this, then it's got to be real painful for all of these uh, farming bills. I don't think that's going to happen. Tractor's going to hold. That military's going down. Those knights are so low HP. Spears just making quick work of them. Gonna push them back to the boar. Those Roosevilles in trouble. Uh, now he's gonna be pushed off the boar. Let's take a look at the Roos food income. It is not great. We do no. have three tickets ready to go in the Golden Gate, but that is not a long-term solution. And if you look at China's income, 1,600 food per minute, you know. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. Despite all that early pressure, China able to hold on, get that farm transition going. Now with the military lead for the first time in what feels like 20 minutes. It's like... 
I really enjoyed me that feudal all in. While we just were a little too confident, a little flew too close to the sun. Mm. There's one more berry patch at the top side. Arakin, food! Now China taking it to the roost here. Getting into all that forward production. There's enough horsemen dealing damage to the knights, but going to start thinning out that archer count. Just going to prevent Arakin from remassing. I mean, you're a roost in this situation. What do you do? Oh, boy. Uh, you know, I, I surrendering is not an not, option. <laughs> I kick myself for uh, being so close to victory. <laughs> About 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes ago. I mean, I would have already started Panic Walls, Double Onion Layers. Yeah, but there's up, four racks coming up. But it's... It's tough. China's got that... That huge farm transition. Over 2,000 food a minute at this point. Yeah, the, the 30 vil lead is uh, real rough at this point in time. Wild. 30, 30 vil lead. There's a period of time where China didn't have a single town center. <laughs> yeah, it was like four or five minutes. Yep. <laughs> Song Dynasty is absolutely nutty. And I mean, not to say that Tractor didn't do a good job of picking off Bruce Vils himself, but be able to remass like that. Tractor taking a good fight there. Able to thin out <laughs> Roos numbers and... Oh right, no, going? villagers just being sacrificed here. Not sure where their target was. Just running into the middle of the melee uh, just to die. They just wanted to rebuild that uh, hunting cabin on the boar. Those poor, poor vills. China now dropping the Imperial Palace. Ready to go to castle. There it is. See, uh, Come on, give me the Imperial Spies. What else did you build that for? <laughs> Let's see if Roos can uh, muster a final stand here. Uh, 49 to 22 military. I think, uh, mm. I think after this fight, we'll see a GG come in. Veterancy upgrades are about 30 seconds out. The Rus army currently has a whole nine members, and they're about to be reduced to about four. No military, 30 vil deficit. Tractor, down to the skin of his teeth, able to hold on, oh. able to turn it around. Pulling out a win in game one here. You know what would have been really good at this point in time? The what would have been really mm. No, I'm kidding. You can't hold that anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it's just it's just China. They just boom away, and even though you wipe out half their base, it turns out uh, a 20, 20 plus villager lead is pretty good. Song Dynasty, absolutely nuts. You can see on the villager count graph that mid game point where China had no TCs, flatlining that vil graph, uh, but able. Able to get the wood he needed to rebuild and just get that villager production back online. Yeah, Golden Gate really helped with that early push. That ah, that feudal push so close to being uh, to being effective in winning the game. Show me that uh, military graph real quick. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the dominance of the Rus. Throughout the course of the game. Uh, it, it was just double. It was just double. And we were sitting in that base. And f Honestly, I feel like someone dropped the ball there just a little bit. I mean, the uh, reinforcement lines are longer. but mm -hmm. Yeah. I've, I've lost games like that before. Oh, for sure. To no, never either, either to Either to China or to Abbasid, usually, when I lose a game like that. Because, you know... You think, yeah, I I just killed a whole <coughs> lot of your base. I killed mm -hmm. a lot of villagers. Absolute eco destruction, and yeah, they're just like, oh no, that's cool. That's just a road bump. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, we'll I'll get back there yours. in like three minutes, so don't worry about it. 
All that stuff that you invested, eh. That's fine. We can just remake this. 